Alright guys, welcome back again. Uh so we Sorry have... guys, we're having some uh, issues with our equipment. He's having problems with his equipment. <laughs> Your equipment's not working either. <laughs> So we may or may not be able to bring you the Funko Pop collection. Uh, fuck technology. <laughs> okay, so guys, uh, in 1995, there was a cartoon that hit here in America called Ronin Warriors. Uh, I produced a line by Playmates, and uh, this line was pretty cool. The, the line consisted of... E um, a total of 11 different uh, single carded figures and uh, each one came with a slew of different accessories and uh, special weapons uh, that is specific to that cur particular character and they have, uh, the unique thing about these were they came with their own snap together armor which was removable um, real quick though we're gonna go ahead and start with the articulation on these guys now these, the articulation on these guys were very unique because these didn't have ball joints or pegs. These had springs. And if you can go right there. They had springs in the arms, the wrists, the legs, and the knees. And what this was for, this was for their action feature. What you would do with their action feature is you'd set up a bad guy, like so, and you can go back and kind of hold the arm back and oh, just like that. So, which made these really good for wrestling because these guys could really do a wicked clothesline from hell, just like that. So, uh, their legs were also able to do like super kicks too, like that. And, so, pretty cool, as far as, you know, action features and articulation goes. Um, as far as normal articulation, uh, we have the standard head from left to right. The arms could move forwards, backwards, all the way around, like so. Uh, the There was also swivel here at the wrist, and swivel at bicep so there we go now the wrist did not have a spring in, attached to it uh, the uh, waist was also able to move from right to left the legs also moved up and down kinda this was a playmates figure so like the Star Trek figures and a lot of the Ninja Turtle ones some of the Ninja Turtle ones they didn't move straight out they'd move off to the side for some stupid reason so it always looked like they were doing this trying to do the splits so, but there was also articulation here at the kneecaps as well. And over here as well, we got the ankle joints, which move forward and backward. So, so and you'll notice also at the ankle joints, we had these little clips. Now, these little clips, um, other characters were supposed to be allowed to grab onto those. And, like, you can position them where they bend their legs backwards and because of the springs, you know, they were able to do that. All right, so... There's articulation. Let's talk. Go ahead and talk about this armor. So each of the figures uh, came into five different characters, five different colors. Um, there was red, green, light blue, blue, and orange. And all of them pretty much looked like this when you get them out of when you take them out of the package. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that armor attached. I'll show you how that works. You'll notice on this figure has multiple little pegs all around it. Well, that is so the armor actually stays on the figure. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and attach the armor here. I have these figures are old and they've been taken on and off so many times. I have issues keeping the torso armor on this guy on. I don't know if that's just with mine or if that's just something that happens over time. So we have the little belt. With the belt we have a little peg here that just plugs into the hole. Right in front. 
take might take a little bit of up oh, there we go it's right in there okay so we have the torso armor and the waist belt there and we've got the little shoulder pads here they just clip right in like so and he falls his figures don't tend to really fall over very easily because of the way their feet are so that was just me almost done here now these are a little can be a little tricky they go on the feet but they just kind of clip right in there there's two little clips at the bottom here make sure they There we go. And I, I knew that was going to fall off. There we go. Alright, and then the one I like to put on last is the helmet. There we go, and that just clips right in there. Now, the one thing I love about these is you'll notice they have these little bits here. Some of them are really large, and, you know, they'll, attach, they'll go up to the shoulder pads. But it does not hinder their articulation because look at these; these are so pliable. And there's you've been all the way here. There's no breakage, so that's kind of cool. Now these did come with a slew of accessories. Unfortunately, um, the only weapons I have is for this character, and that's these two swords here. And you'll notice there's a little peg right there. There's a hole on the back of his armor that just plugs in like so there we go all right now let's talk about these weapons real quick and this goes for all of the characters so um first off these two particular swords in a cartoon uh they came together like that and this did include a piece to where they could do that i don't have the piece anymore but this is what i wanted to talk about um You'll notice on this particular, on these figures, now look how loose those weapons are. Okay. So they don't really stay in there very well. Uh, I mean, if you can, you can get a decent pose. I mean, they'll go, so you can cross wield them like so, and like that. And you, you know, that's really about all you're going to get with these. And unfortunately, if you use the spring action feature, they have a tendency to fly out of the hands. Just like that. So that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> so. But the cool thing is, a lot of their weapons did have little holsters. Um, you can just fit them right in the back right there. And there you go. Alright, so there we got it. These are the Ronin Warriors. Uh, we'll have a picture up here of all the, the, the collection. I'm missing, I think, two in the entire line. Uh, you can normally find these. These would, like I said, these came out in 1995. Um, you can usually find these on eBay. Um, the price really does range. Uh, if you want a full, complete one, these also have tendency to have stickers that go on the armor, too. Uh, like here, for instance, I think there's a a throwing star and there's two throwing stars here and one here so I don't have those um, but these tend to randomly go for like a completed one you can get for roughly around 15 20 bucks uh, there is a couple of characters who are hard to find one of them is Rowan um, I found one of them on eBay uh, with like a couple pieces of his armor grabbed him for like I think ten dollars uh, for completed though he goes for much more uh, and then the very popular character of Anubis, mint on card goes for about $150, so it really depends on your range. Um, so yeah, there you go. Ronin Warriors, it's a really cool cartoon series, check them out. And we'll be right back again.